the red carpet diva Jeanette with eAsylum and we are checking out the premiere of Idlewild. Hello, I'm Jeanette Ng with Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome to Fastlane Daily. I'm Jeanette Ng with your automotive briefing. I hope so. About a month ago, I met Jeanette Ng when she first came to QVC. To the Filipino mall. Yeah. Wine in a mug. Consider yourself lucky because you have backstage passes to the Made in Iceland fashion show. Now, what is the meaning of Idlewild? Uh, Idlewild is actually a real city that was in Michigan, and we just took the name and transported it to Georgia and made it Idlewild, Georgia, a fictitious place. So the name of the town is from Michigan, you placed it in a fictitious place in Georgia, and you filmed it in North Carolina. Right. Yes. <laughs> so it's a lot of jumping around, you know what I mean? Hey guys, it's Jeanette with TUN. We're about to check out Aisha Tyler starring in the new thriller, Death Sentence. Keep it right here on TUN. How does it feel to be on Maxim's hot list <laughs> two times? It was really nice. It was fun. You're six foot. Yes, I'm five foot two. <laughs> Asian women everywhere want to know how how does that feel? <laughs> Been making pot stickers in the kitchen with my grandma, my mom, my sister, three generations just making dumplings together. So we're at the red carpet of Shoot 'Em Up, where we're going to meet Clive Owens and Paul Giamatti. Check it out. So in this movie, you have a love making slash shooting scene. How much fun was that? It's tough. Sometimes it's all about work. It's work, work, work. I heard that the finger-breaking scene was what sold you, no? Yeah, I thought that would be fun to do. When I read the script, I thought, this seems like, you get to break Clive Owen's fingers, he never gets his fingers broken by somebody in a movie. You got to release a lot of aggression in it. Sure, sure, yeah, it was a good time. Hey guys, your host Jeanette here with TUN. We're here at the red carpet premiere of The Lady in Water. Let me tell you, I wish I was in water right now because it is hot out here. But we're going to keep our cool and see what the stars have to say. Let's go. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how did you work on your stutter so oh, well? Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Now you're going to get in trouble for that. We're here in the Meatpacking District celebrating Bastille Day the French way. Now, in order to celebrate this French holiday correctly, we may have to indulge in quite a bit of Rue Clicquot Champagne, try our hand at some Pétain games, and mingle with some top French chefs. So what do you say? Let's go indulge. How have you been enjoying yourself today at Bastille Day? Uh, I got to play Pétain for the first time, so that was pretty good. I haven't played Pétain yet either, so uh, you, you know more than me. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Well, I certainly had a good time. This was almost as good as being in Paris itself. For that So New York, this is Jeanette Ng. Welcome to a new day. Don't know what's on the way, but whatever it is, I'll be ready. On your mind. All right, we're inside the market. <laughs> Holy shit. That's familiar. <laughs> Discovering how cheap everything is. Best way to compare is something that we know in America. Dunkin' Donuts, my favorite. So Philippines runs on Dunkin' as well. All right, ready? Let's see these munchkins. How much is it for munchkins? Um, box now. A box of munchkins. Uh, 65 pesos. 65, 65 pesos? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so a box like this, how many is there in there? 25. Ma All right. 25 munchkins for 65 pesos, which is a dollar and change. A dollar and change. Usually that buys me three or five munchkins, because I'm a dork and I actually buy munchkins that are in sets of five. So, how much is a donut? 10 pesos, ma'am. 10 pesos? So, it's about 20 cents. Wow, I'm about to buy some donuts. Taking the sights on the right of my life, living just to survive's not enough. So much love. Tambuli Beach Resort. I hear it's very nice here. Beautiful out of control. Okay, here's the assessment. Tambuli is the place to go. I'm in Tambuli West. Next time I'm going to go to Tambuli East. But I had a delicious roast beef sandwich with gravy and fries on the side and a frozen drink for 300 pesos, which is exactly what my allowance was when I had my entrance fee of 350 pesos. So in short, $7 paid for food and my day here in this gorgeous resort. Here, take a look. Like I'm falling, flying. 